today is a special day for many reasons. It's the Sabbath that is always special. But today is special because we have a baby dedication. And at this time, I'm going to ask the uh, Enaka family to come forward. Maybe they can sit at the uh, front pew. Maybe they, the friends and relatives as well can accompany them as uh, we are going to dedicate their baby uh, Sabian. As they come, I would read an account, the account of Jesus dedication that we find in Luke chapter 2. In uh, verse 21 and 22. And he says, When eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Uh, We as a people of God have a tremendous heritage that goes back thousands of years. I am referring to the dedication of the children to the Lord. As we follow in the footsteps of the faithful servants of God throughout the ages, today who brought the, the, the children to the Lord to be dedicated, today is Stanley and Sarita Ekenaka turned to dedicate their baby Sabion to the Lord. He was born on July 23rd, 2015. The Bible tells us that children are a, are a gift from God. So dedicating a child is an acknowledgement of God's ownership. It is the commitment by the parents to raise their children in the fear of the Lord, and to become mighty in the Spirit. In Proverbs 22, verse 6, we read, Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. In in this day and age where there is so much abuse of children, we do well to to pay heed to this counsel, where it says, You fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but nurture them in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. Children of believing parents are set holy, uh, set apart as holy, according to uh, 1 Corinthians 7, 14. Jesus loved and blessed the children wherever he went, so we should as well. In Mark 10, verse 16, we read that Jesus took them in his arms and blessed them, laying hands on them and blessing them. Behold, children are a heritage of Yahweh, the fruit of the womb at his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man and women, I guess, mother, who has quiver, his quiver full of them. They won't be disappointed when they speak with their enemies at the gate. Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5. The Bible gives us an example of what it means to dedicate a child to the Lord through the account of Hannah in 1 Samuel 11, 26 to 28. As you will know, uh, Hannah was unable to have children for a long time, so she wept before the Lord and ask her uh, for a child. And as she was weeping, she made a vow to God saying, and we read this in 1 Samuel 1, 11, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your main servant and remember me and not forget your maid servant, but will give your maid servant a man child, then I will give it to the Lord all the days of his life. God honored uh, Hannah's request and gave her a son, Samuel. And she kept her vow to the Lord 
and dedicated him, which means to be set apart. Samuel was set apart to the Lord. So to dedicate a child to the Lord is to make a vow to completely submit your child to the will of God and to raise that child in the ways of the Lord. The Bible says that it's a trap for a man to dedicate something rashly and only later consider his vow, Proverbs 20, 25. Christian parents uh, are to do all they can to set apart the child to God until the child can make his or her decision regarding a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. By dedicating a child to the Lord, parents make a vow to raise their child in God's way. The responsibilities God has entrusted to Christian parents include a continually praying for their children, Job 1.5, instructing, instructing them in the way of the Lord, Proverbs 22, verse 6, setting a godly example, Proverbs 20, verse 7, and disciplining them as the Lord disciplined us, Proverbs 29, 15 to 17. But we must remember that it is by God's grace alone that we can accomplish all of this. Philippians 4, 13 read, For encouragement and fulfillment, these vows uh, we call upon parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents as well. Proverbs 17, 6 declare how grandchildren are the crown of old age. Now I will call upon the family to come forward as we dedicate, uh, you can, the friends the, as well, if you would like to come forward and, and accompany them. And you are demonstrating that you are in agreement uh, of this, with this dedication and that you will do your very best to support the parents in the raising of this child, uh, Savion. Savion. And now I will call upon you to answer this, this question. Stanley and Sarita, do you acknowledge that Sabion is, gift, is a gift from God entrusted to your care? We do. Do you pledge before God in this assembly to provide a home where Christian love, training, and care will be provided for him? We do. Do you covenant to provide what you have learned on the ways of the Lord? by praying together, together for Sabian's well-being, by attending church services, and by living a godly life as an example to him so he will grow up and will become like Christ in character? We do with God's help. Do you, members of the body of Christ, in this local congregation, although they are not yet members of this congregation, but... I believe that their intention is to transfer the membership here, so this applies to you as well. So I said, do you, members of the body of Christ and this local congregation, solemnly promise to help Stanley and Sarita in the raising of this child, to encourage them in their responsibilities, to provide an atmosphere of love and concern for him, and pray diligently for his well-being? You can answer, with God's help, we promise. And now we are going to dedicate, together with, with uh, Stanley and Sarita, I dedicate this beautiful child to the Lord right now. And uh, I will pronounce a blessing as you please bow. I said, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of life and your abundant grace that rests upon this child created in your image. May you provide him with the protection from harm and evil a strength for his weaknesses, and wisdom for life's mysteries. Make yourself known to him at an early age and draw him to the cross to accept you as Savior and Lord. Give him a willing heart to accept his place of service in your kingdom and church. Bless his parents as they strive to make your eternal and unchanging word the focal point of life and standard for his living. We dedicate Savian and Aka to you, Sabion, and I come to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless. I'll give you the certificate next time. God bless you. And thank you for coming to uh, support the, the family.